Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel, and today we're back in the cash games playing 1-2 with a $200 buy-in. So it goes back to us here. So it's limp, raise, 3-bet. I'm going to call this in position, 4-betting completely fine as well. So it's like go for a flat this time, we get the ace-high flop, unfortunately. And if they small bet, we'll call 1 here, 2 of hearts on the turn. So probably calling against most turn sizes too, but if he triple barrels, mostly fold unless it's the Queen River. So eventually checks here. Happy to check as well. And then six in the river. So the question is if we get check two, do we go for value or check? Um, I probably check this one. I'll have a little bit of ASX here. That can be kind of like my value betting range here. Now, if they decide to bet river, it's also interesting. These bet check bet lines on like a board like ace high, I feel like people don't bluff the river enough usually. Like I said, I will have some ace X myself that can call. They can be checking ace X on the turn. Um, they jam. All right, so we're gonna fold this. Like I said, I guess jam, obviously your calling range becomes a lot tighter. Um, and then also I'll have some ace X here in range, but as play to fold, I actually think I'm gonna change my call here, given the price we're getting. So we do flop a six with the backdoor hearts. So face half pot here, go for the call. Interesting turn. So this is a turn they can definitely have jams on, and I'm pretty sure we call the six in the ace high flush draw, whereas we just had the ace flush draw, maybe could fold. But they could be jamming like king, queen, either flush draw, um, stuff like that, like ace, king, ace, queen. So again, not gonna love it. Pretty reasonable for them to jam here, given the pot and double flush draw. So we'll call as pocket nines are actually behind there. And no good, we don't get there, unfortunately, with the A6. All right, so the king-queen suited here, we open flat, flat, and I'm gonna go for the check raise here. So I think this is one where he's gonna check back the turn a lot with like his super strong hands. I can have draws here. There's gutters, there's heart draws. So if my draws, I probably wanna check raise, trying to rip a queen, so we'll play our value the same way too. Uh, this min click actually makes me more scared, to be honest probably just get it in but this actually feels terrible like, it just feels like i'm gonna show an ace queen but i don't think i want to fly here because he's just gonna like, again if he has like aces or kings i'm hoping he still stacks off with those just as ace queen i was gonna say it just feels like it's gonna be ace queen when he clicks it but king queen from out of position with the draws out there i think we just want to jam it trips hopefully goes a bit better this time so it's 10 10 6 and we'll go for the check raise So calls. I'll go ahead and pot the turn here. All right. Nine eight of hearts. They have a combo draw. We have seventy seven percent, and we do hold. Queen ten's good. Limp raise. Small one. Three bets. Go ahead and flat here. Flop the ace back to our hearts. So bets here. We'll go ahead and call. Turn pairs the two. Shouldn't really change too much here. So they bet again, we'll call one more. And King River, it's actually a really good river card. Chop with like Ace, Queen, Ace, Jack now. Once they check, I probably jam here because I'm gonna, I wanna have bluff, so I have to make sure I have the Ace here. So hopefully maybe they make some sticky call the King, but this is to make sure that like we can have bluffs on this lane. if I just like check like the Ace there, for example, like I just never have value. So it's like, I can't really bluff the river very often. Go for the cold four bet here. So this is button open, small line three bet. We cold four bet. And see the call. Interesting flop here. Uh, 987. Trying to think in four bet pots. We still go small on this board or not. I think I'm going to go for quarters. Might be a mistake though. We do get some really tough spots if they jam because we have a gutter in the overs, but yeah, I don't know. I want to say in four bet pots, even on boards like this, we can use some of these like small sizes, but maybe this is incorrect still. All right, five of the turn. Um, let's see. Given that it's a four by pot, I actually probably could jam some of my overpairs. I'm gonna check here if I have ace jack of hearts or clubs I'm jamming though. 
And then as this one's been played, I block Jack 10. I'm gonna have some more over pairs. Again, I think I can jam my over pairs as it's been played. So I'm actually probably gonna bluff this one. If they jam, we'll fold though. So it's open flat, we squeeze. Back over the flatter, they decide to go call call. So given this player is a little bit shorter and their stat line is 61, 11, and five, I think I mostly wanna go big bet and then if they lead big bet, we're just gonna get this in here. Hopefully I have like nines or tens and we're just way ahead. And it's jack ton of spades, we got 67%. And we do hold, nice, kings are good. So open queens. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and check back the nine five five six in the turn. That's out. Double flush draw. I'm actually gonna raise this to check back river. A lot of draws out there I can still call. If this player finds like a three bet on here, I would just um, probably fold. But then obviously we reach river here. Now we hope they have clubs <laughs> and they lead. This is perfect. All right, so we're gonna be jamming for value. So we've got top boat. You're gonna be all in for it. This feels like they're gonna have a clubs a ton. Yeah, we see the fold, unfortunately. I was hoping to get paid there. Hi, Jack opens here. Defend the big blind at flop and middle set, Jack 7 2. So flop middle set here. Pretty wet board. Uh, go for the check raise. So see the call. Uh, two pairs on the turn. And I'm gonna go for an over bet turn here. I think this is okay. So about 36, put about 96. Yeah, right about two. Yeah, this is fine. This is actually gonna be a really good turn card for us. A, we don't have to worry about draws as much anymore, but B, this gets rid of a lot of my value hands that raise flop of pocket twos. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be jamming here on the river. 10 might be a little bit tricky some of the straight draws come in, but I think we still want to jam the boat here. I wonder if I would actually still use like 10-9 as a bluff here. Trying to make him fold those over pairs. But we jam the river. And eventually see the fold take down. Three betting eights here, this is cut off first hijack, check, check, flop, two in the turn. So we've got a gutter with the two over cards out there. And it goes for the over bet. Interesting. Um, reasonable in these three bet pots. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and call here, but I'm not 100% sure on this one. And six in the river. And jams are riffle eights on the ends. Six here over here, so we raise the limper, call, call. Multi-way with bottom two on this board. I actually think we throw in check from time to time here. It's not a board I want to bet very often against two players, so I think I'm actually going to find the check here, assuming both these players check. Player size a lead will just call. And not a great turn card, so we see the heart. They snap check. Um, with that said, I think we can still go for value, potentially checking rivers though. So I can get worse to call here and then we river. Oh, we are with full house. I'm like, all right, what's my hand? Okay. Full house. <laughs> so against this player it's not gonna be super balanced to jam the spot, but I think I'm gonna go for it. Although I'm a little bit worried. I have a lot of hearts. I actually changed my must stay consistent and go three quarters here. I just don't think they have a lot of hearts. Oh geez, it's gonna be so tilting by the butterfly house. I don't think we ever fold though for this much more. As the flush, while well, they did have hearts there. Alright, so 8-6 is good. Getting paid. Small one opens, we three bet tens, get called. 7-6-4, we'll go for a check here. Three on the turn. Snap, that's half, we'll call. And a straight comes on the board here. I think we can just like go crazy jamming these spots. Once they check here, they just like very rarely have the eight. We don't necessarily have it a ton here either, but a lot of times people aren't gonna call this much just for a chop, but we just kind of pick up the whole 67. So anyways, we jam, get them off a chop. So we open King's big blind calls, top set here, King nine, two. 
and bet small. Calls queen on the turn. And we'll pop the turn here. Calls queen river. I'm trying to think if I get really greedy and jam the river. So just trying to target like queen jack, queen 10. There's two queens left, only one king left. So I actually think I'm going to go for it here. This is pretty greedy, but I'm going to jam 2x pot against this player. And just snap it off with jack 10. They turn the straight. That was because that's the other thing too, would be the straight. So sick hand there on the end. Open ace jack, get three bets. Flat here, flop the ace. Pretty good start. Ace king five, two diamonds. Do have the ace of diamonds here. And bets just go for Culver's third. Ace on the turn gets better. So checks here. So you definitely could have like ace 10, ace 4, ace 3, ace 2, like all of those. You definitely get a lot of worse hands to potentially stack off on two barrels here. Uh, Diamond River, not ideal. Do have the ace of diamonds though. Um, uh, e6. All right, I think I'm gonna jam this still. This is kind of close. Yeah, I see the fold. It's harder to get paid by worse. We do lose to some diamonds, but they can't have like king a pair in diamonds, for example, on the flop because we have the ace of diamonds. So if I have ace jack with a jack of diamonds, I probably check. If I ace jack no diamond, I check. But I think we'll barrel that one. Anyways, we just see the fold takedown. Back over to the original opener here. And see, I just call. Uh, so we're going to go three ways to the flop, 10, 4, 3, 2 clubs. Start with a small C bet here on this one. So if you flop the over pair, and get check raised. Okay, so if we call, it's like 152 in the middle, 131 back. So I think I'm just going to call and then get in on any non club, even like the ace or the king, potentially. And then, yeah, this turn here would be willing to stack off. Have to worry about sets here. Um, I don't think he's gonna have seven six necessarily here ever. So they bet this size, we're just gonna make them get in with whatever equity they have. So we're just gonna be jamming here. They have a set, we pay them. But they'll call for like say they have like clubs here, like ace jack of clubs at this point. Get this much money in, or if they fold that, like it's okay for us just take it down now. For example, as well. So once they don't snap here, we're definitely ahead for now. And yeah, we just see the fold though. Queens are good. Yeah, button open here, defend threes, flop is set, beautiful. Queen three, two, two hearts. Let me set up for a check raise. So face bet here, stick to the plan. See the call. Interesting turn. So it pairs the board and is a heart. So we're gonna go small here. This one's kind of interesting on the river. I think on bricks, I might consider check jamming, trying to target his flushes. He raises, okay, so we're just gonna call here. And then outside of some horrendous river call down. All right, that's a good one. So 164 effective, 103 in the middle. If he jams, we snap it off. Hope he's value betting a good flush here. And then if he bets not all in, I think we jam. So yeah, we'll go for the jam here on the end. And an ace jack of hearts, let's go. Boat versus ace high flush, sick cooler there. Button open to your three at jacks out of the big lines. And see the call. And we'll go for 10% bet here. Queen 10, 7, 3 spades. Have jacks with a spade. And get raised. Alright, so we're just going to call here, I think. Oof, that's an interesting turn. <laughs> Alright, so we turn a set and have a spade. When they just flat pre, I don't think they have a lot of ace king on the line here, especially when they start to hand a little bit shorter. So I think we just get this in on the turn if they bet. And if they have a flush, hopefully it pairs the board. Hope they have a set too. It's king, queen. So we got 86%, 100%. Sick turn card. Yeah, we're good at the jacks. Flop a set, nice. Good start here. So we flop middle set, 1072. 
Uh, decent amount of draws out there, so we'll definitely have some raises with draws. So we'll raise this one for value if we face bet. So we'll stick to the plan. Middle set, 10 7 2. Just calls. Good turn card. So pairs in the turn. For a pot size button turn here. So pretty good turn, complete brick. Just gotta hope they don't have aces. That'd be super tilting, but gonna be jamming river for value. Obviously there's a tens too, but hopefully they put me on one of those draws here. Jam the full house on the river. No snap call is a good sign. Now he's got hope. Like tank call is like the best, right? Snap call we can still be good, but like sometimes we are beat. Tank call we're always good unless they're slow rolling. So. Do you go for the value jam for about 1.5x pot here? And eventually you see the fold boat is good. All right, YouTube, that wraps up a profitable session here for us today. So I played for six hours, 2,450 hands plus 1,179. Session feels really good. I was stuck like 750 bucks right out the gate. So to have a huge turnaround like that was awesome. So hope you enjoyed the video and the hands from today's session. And if you did, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe.